Hi guys, despite the fact that Microsoft ended the technical support for Windows 7 in January 2020, you can still upgrade your Windows 7 or 8 computer to Windows 10 for free. This can be done on the Microsoft website and I will show you how to do it right. First of all, you need to look at requirements for Windows 10 and compare it with your computer or laptop. So first requirement is the processor. Your processor should be 1 GHz or faster processor. And then the RAM should be 1 GB for 32-bit systems or 2 GB for 64-bit systems. Hard drive space, we need free hard disk space of about 16 GB for 32-bit OS or 32 GB for 64-bit OS. You will need a graphics card, DirectX 9 or later with WDDM 1.0 driver. And last but not least, the display should at least support 800 by 600 resolution. Couple of things to note here in the upgrade route. If you have Windows 7 Pro, that will be upgraded to Windows 10 Pro. Pro is the professional version. If you have Windows 7 Home version, that will be upgraded to Windows 10 Home version. If you have Windows 7 32-bit operating system, that will be upgraded to Windows 10 32-bit operating system. Okay, I have already got Windows 10 on my laptop, but I have got a VM running on it, which is Windows 7. So to demo the upgrade, I will use this virtual machine, but in practice, you can do it on either VM or it's on like actual physical computer or laptop. To find out if your computer meets the technical requirements, just go to the Explorer, right click on computer, and select properties. As you can see, I've got Intel iCore 7, which is 3 gigahertz, so that meets the minimum requirement of 1 gigahertz. I've got installed RAM which is 2 GB and it's a 64-bit operating system. My Windows is activated and you can check the activation after upgrade and the activation will remain in place. After the upgrade, you will also have an option to retain all your personal data, documents, photos, videos, and applications. All the applications you have on your laptop or computer will continue to work as they were before the upgrade. So after installing Windows 10, if you do not like the new operating system, within 10 days, you can cancel all the updates and return back to your Windows 7. Note that, the upgrade process takes a long time, so if you have a laptop, please ensure that it is connected to a power supply. So let me take you through the process. Open up a browser window. I have got Firefox on my machine, so you can open up Chrome or IE or Microsoft Edge browser. So just go to microsoft.com slash ngb slash software dash download Windows 10. I will put the link in the description of the video so that you can use it. This is official Microsoft web page. Here you can read the upgrade terms, 
and conditions also you can create an installation media whether it's a usb flash drive dvd or iso file to install it on different pc but it is a different topic in this video we are concentrating on have saving all your data and applications and upgrading to windows 10 so we are not going to choose this option when we come to installing the windows 10 so just click on the download tool now and it will download a small file on your computer just click save go to the download folder you can just close this one and that's the file which has been downloaded so double click the file click yes to continue and the preparation for upgrade will begin very soon it's getting a few things ready it is going to take some time since you see the next screen the download is almost complete now so it is just verifying the download just almost halfway through in creating windows 10 media it has just finished the process and preparing for installation okay it just finished the process so you now need to accept the license terms now it is making sure we are ready to install i will pause the video in between if the things are taking time just taking for enough disk space on the hard drive okay we are almost ready to install now by clicking on the install button the installation of windows 10 will begin during the installation you don't need to do anything the computer will reboot itself several times so please do not turn off your computer so i'm gonna click on the install button and uh, what it says is it will be installing windows 10 pro and it, it will keep the personal files and apps you can click on this link to see what applications will be kept but i'm just going to skip it so just going to click on the install button now so as i said your pc will start a number of times in between when the upgrade is successful you will see the greetings message so i'm going to pause the video once we reach up to that stage about 50 60 percent complete 95 percent complete it's almost complete now the pc will restart note that it may restart several times so you need to bear with it so it is shutting down windows 7 machine now let's see what it does now it is loading files of the new operating system okay now it is has restarted now it is working on updates again i will pause the video and restart once it is complete 11 percent done this process may take up to three hours so you need to make sure you had enough time to go through it so it is just restarting so updates are almost 30 percent complete now make sure you don't turn off your pc almost halfway through almost 85 percent complete the VM did 
restart several times while it was working on updates just doing the final updates and you can see windows 10 screen so it's gonna take some time i'm gonna pause the video and restart once it is at the next stage almost there now okay so first time when it starts it will ask you for a couple of choices so i'm gonna choose no for this demo purpose on most of these options so just gonna click no to most of the options and proceed further so as you can see the windows 2010 screen is up and running so i'm just gonna close these windows let us look at the specifications of the new windows operating system what you need to do is open the explorer click on this pc and properties windows is windows 10 pro let me close this window now so if you want to check the activation status click on the start button and click on the settings here select update and security click on the activation link here you can see the activation status which is windows is activated with the digital license so if you do not like the upgraded windows 10 what you can do is you can go to the recovery option you can select the get started button on go back to windows 7 and follow the on screen instructions to take you back to windows 7 thanks a lot for watching my video if you haven't already please subscribe share and like the video good luck with your upgrade please do let me know in comments if you face any issues thank you bye